In other news, Israel set up rapid coronavirus testing stations across the country on Sunday. The Megan David Adam Emergency Service said as the government tries to stave off another pandemic lockdown. The testing centers are aimed at the non-vaccinated and those who have recovered from the virus and need a health pass. Results are received in 15 minutes. In Sunday morning, unvaccinated people must present a negative COVID test less than 24 hours old and, fa or, and health passes will be extended to children under 12 from August 20. Over the past week, Israel has been recording an average of more than 3,000 new coronavirus cases a day, the highest since April. The rise in infections is a step back after its world-leading vaccine campaign drove down new COVID-19 cases from 10,000 a day to fewer than 100. Tests at the new stations will cost 52 shekels or $16 and will enable those tested to receive a health ministry pass valid for 24 hours. Israel has now launched a campaign to provide a third booster dose of vaccine to the elderly and has also reinstated the health pass. Most COVID restrictions were lifted in early June, but some were reimposed last month following the resurgence of cases. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said Wednesday vaccinations and renewed restrictions could spare Israel another lockdown, even as coronavirus infections soar. Only people who have been fully vaccinated, cured of COVID-19, or with a negative PCR test taken less than 72 hours previously are allowed to enter places holding more than 100 people indoors or outdoors.